Stop Jelly Bean Martinez and welcome to Jelly Talking. If you don't watch the show, I'll cut your fucking hands off like some Middle Eastern child that stole bread from a market stall. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Oh, welcome uh, to another episode of Jelly Talking. I'm Jelly Bean Martinez and this lovely man to my right is Martin Moore. Hello, hola, hola, hola. Uh, got off stage tonight at Darlington Rock and Roll Venues. Um, you were headlining tonight. You enjoyed tonight? Yeah, really nice, very good, friendly people. Nice, proper big stage, wasn't yeah, it? Was so a professional. It was a cold room, not the people, but it was the temperature was very yeah. cold. How do you find this affects the comedian yeah. as well as the audience? There was a couple of people who um, had their coats on, and there was one woman who'd wrapped herself up in her coat like back to front. And when you see them, do you know what I mean? She put yeah. her arms it's like a straight jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's like this, and um, I think it makes them. A bit uncomfortable when they're uh, too cold. So they can't relax. Too hot, they tend to get drunk too quickly. And too cold, I think they're just slightly uncomfortable. So I did, that's why I did lots of getting them cheering yes. a lot. Just to get a bit of blood going and yeah, yeah, that's good. So basically, Martin, you've been in the, the industry for over 25 years. Mm -hmm. You've uh, traveled all over the world. You've opened for Steve Coogan, mm -hmm. Frankie Boyle, even Tina Turner. Tina Turner once. I was going to ask you then. Um, People like Peter Kay, uh, Johnny Vegas, George Best, they've all said nice things about mm -hmm. you. Who, who inspired you? Who kind of got you into comedy? Uh, my favourite my favorite comedian is Tommy Cooper. Tommy Cooper, okay. De definitely. It's Tommy, it's Tommy, it's Tommy, so Tommy Cooper, Buster Keaton, W.C. Fields. Hey, Tommy Cooper, Tommy Cooper. <laughs> this is also my magic box, eh? <laughs> ah, Christmas card, card, Christmas, Christmas card, card, card. <laughs> Right, look behind you, look behind you. What's behind you? Uh, uh, uh. Ah, Christmas tree, tree, Christmas. Thank you very much, hey. Thank you very much, mate. Oh, frying pan, bang, frying, frying pan. <laughs> now let me take a shit, take a shit. <laughs> I don't really, um, I never really watched stand up before I did. The first time I did a gig in a, um, in a comedy club, the first gig I ever did in a comedy club. Uh, was the first time I was ever in a comedy okay. club. So I was, that was the first actual kind the of first generic time. kind of stand up best. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, so I've, I've, I've deliberately done that thing of trying not to watch other stand ups so you don't get influenced yes. by the other stand ups. Um, so yeah, so those old, but you can't go wrong, can you? It's all between Buster Keaton and Tommy Cooper and WC Fields, everything that's funny is, is, is there. Good choice. Yeah. And what about uh, kind of new comedians that are coming into the, the circuit? And, and don't say me just because we are. I don't think you just kicked with me tonight for the first time. <laughs> I think they're little bastards and they shouldn't be allowed in. No, no, no more. No more. No more. Just have a quota. Yeah, I think we should have a kind of U cap of uh, comedy. Just okay. no more new ones. So just the big fish get to stay and then the little. No, fish. fuck the big fish. The big fish can fuck off. The middle ground where I am can stay and the new ones can, can fuck off as okay, well. Okay, so that's, that's from Martin Moore. Fuck yeah. off. Yeah! Searching you. Okay. <laughs> they said a quote. They said you were the, the least likeliest comic to be heckled. Yes. How do you deal with hecklers? I love hecklers, and I think what happens is because I um because I really like hecklers, they can see it in your eyes, and uh, when they don't see any fear, they tend not to heckle very much. Uh, when they see, you'll see it yourself. You know it at gigs. When they see a comedian that's doing badly, and they can see the fear come into their eyes, yes. that gives empowers them to heckle. But because I love it when they heckle, I'm, I'm, I wish they heckled on. more. Yeah, and because I'm not particularly harsh with them, I, I engage with them in trying to find something funny. Uh, that usually means that they shut up, it usually yes. stops them doing it. Do you ever do like a death stare? No, 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 I don't. I, if anything, I try to encourage them to join in more. I, I, an ideal show for me would be one that everything was influenced by the audience and none of it was influenced mm. by what I wrote down. Alright, alright, let's see what's on the internet today. Grow your dick six inches longer in two weeks. Get the fuck. Whoa. Well, a few extra inches didn't harm anyone. Uh, 
I'm gonna have a bigger day, do that, do that. I'm gonna have a bigger. Huh? Huh? No freaking way. No. Huh? Hello? Wow, we these came super freaking quick. Wow. Directions. Take one capsule every two days. Do not exceed stated dose. Yeah, fuck it. Oh. Oh. Oh my God! I need to lie down. God, that was a weird sleep. Right, 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 let's see. We got a bigger dig, right? Come on, bigger dig, bigger dig, bigger dig, bigger dig, bigger dig. Bigger dig. Yeah. Warning, if you take more than you should, you will get a mangina. Guy, if there was any celebrity, dead or alive, that you would like to fight, who would it be? Margaret Thatcher. Margaret Thatcher. Yes, you just definitely dead. Dead Margaret you Thatcher. Dead to her. What about alive Margaret Thatcher? What would you do to I her? I would kill her and then I would punch her some more. <laughs> okay, so Margaret, if you were watching or if you were watching from hell, uh, Martin's fucking coming for you. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's the uh, shittest song that you are embarrassing song you secretly like to listen to when oh. you're by yourself? I, I, I'm totally not embarrassed by any no. songs. What, what's your guy? Is there something that know. most people would go? I, 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 I like, I don't know if it's because I've grown up in Northern Ireland, uh, but I like really corny old country music. Okay. Like Dolly Parton. And in fact, recently, like last year, <laughs> uh, Frankie Boyle took me, Glenn Wool, Ian Coppinger, Lloyd Langford, Somebody else, and he took us to see 95 Dolly Parton. The musical, <laughs> fantastic. And were you singing? Oh, we were like singing. We, we honestly, we were like a group of gay men all jumping up. We were singing, we were clapping, we got right into it. it, was, it was so fun. this Frankie Boyle was, was, was yeah, yeah, it was literally <laughs> fabulous. I didn't expect because he's quite a soft, uh, well, sensitive guy as well. Yeah, like, he <laughs> loves that. He absolutely loved that, and he's, he's got a thing about musicals anyway. I, I'm um. I'm not as big into musicals as What's he is. What's his favourite? You know? I don't know, he likes bad musicals. Bad musicals. I know that. Hiya Frankie. My name's Ron and I you love musicals. Well guess what? I'm the queen of musicals. Some are loving at me a blast. Some are loving happen so fast. Mayor Frankie, cute as can be. Geezer <coughs> calls him Pink Frankie, he could be my Danny Zuko. We love that for you. Love your butt. Beautiful, beautiful guy. Love the beer. Bye, Frankie. Call me. Rhonda. It was honestly, it was, I don't use the word fabulous very often, but, but it was really fabulous. Fabulous. Was fabulous. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> So Martin Moore endorses 9 to 5. Yes. <laughs> now this is a little uh, versus section, so I just throw out a couple, two things and you just say which one you prefer. So okay. uh, David Cameron, because I know how much you like him, or a turd, a shit. I prefer shit. Shit, <laughs> that's so. Ant or deck? Oh, ant. Ant, you, you know the difference between yeah, them? Yeah, I didn't even know. <laughs> a woman with facial hair or without facial hair? Oh no, hair. definitely facial, facial hair. Facial hair, hair. Okay. So, Beard ladies, good morning to you. Um, uh, we probably have time to talk about it all now. I did an Edinburgh show a few years ago called My Granny Was a Bearded Lady okay. based on my circus background. Okay. And my, my granny was a bearded lady. In the circus? In the circus. Wow. So, a fool longer than yours? Or no, no, no. no. <laughs> as long as it is. Yeah. Now, I'm just a little Northern Irish lady. Who wants to shave me? Uh... 
Basically, uh, with the show, I, I, I do a little agony ant section where people write in with their problems okay. and, and sometimes I get the fantastic guests to um, help answer. So, uh, we have a Dear Jellybean, a big fan you know, of the 63 viewers that we have. I'm a 26-year-old male who wants to grow a beard as they're sexy, um, but I can't grow as I'm a baby-faced loser. What can I do? And that's James from Dundee. So, have you got any suggestions for someone who I would suggest that James goes to see his uh, doctor okay. and maybe get some hormone therapy sure. and just becomes Janet. Janet, so what? Grow, becomes a woman because you can't grow a beard. Yeah, I think. So, if you can't grow a beard, you're yeah. a pathetic waste of space. I think if you're over 16 and you can't grow a beard, you are uh, you might as well be a lady. Just boy. give up on yeah. everything. Yeah. But you know how ladies can get those things called a merkin, which is like yeah. a vagina wig? Yeah. Can you get a, a fake beard thing? Or but, I suppose. Maybe. Okay. Maybe you could, when you're going down, just go down on a woman with a merkin. And see, come back up, see what happens. See what happens. Help grows on. Oh my goodness! It's filmed night by Barry Norman! Shh. And uh, finally, uh, in the circus you were a freestanding ladder, tall unicycle, basketball juggling pyrotechnic act. Yes. Will you juggle my balls? No. I've actually got some juggling okay, balls. Okay, so wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love how you said no. <laughs> so here we go, more and more. Juggling on a... Uh, uh, we'll edit this out somehow, even though I don't know how to... <laughs> One last... Let's do proper, let's do proper. Okay. Here we go! Yes! Three! Perfect! Okay, well I'd like to thank my special guest, Martin Moore. Uh, he's on Twitter at Martin Mo Big Pig, or is it Martin? Martin Big Pig Moore, but Moore. if you just put in Martin Moore, it comes up anyway. Or check out his website, which I have done for the last two days. Stalking him, I've been Jelly Martinez, this is Martin Moore. Take care, beautiful people.